Welcome once again to Hebrew Bible Verse a Day. We're now on Genesis, Bereshit, Chapter 1, Perik Rishon, Verse 31. So it actually is the last verse of the first chapter of Bereshit. So it's quite exciting. We're finishing the first chapter together. So we are on Day 31, Verse 31. And you can see here, it's got a Lamad, which is the geometrical, geometrical, Geometrical value for 30 and an Aleph, which is 1. So it's 30 and 1, 31. Let's just read the Hebrew first. Vayar Elohim et kolashe asa, vehine tov ma'od. Vayihi Ereb, vayihi voker, yom hashishi. Let's read the English. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Let's go over it uh, a bit slower. The yar, and the root of this word is actually three letters, only two, which is here. So it's a bit unusual um, from what we've seen so far because the root is resh aleph hey, but we don't actually have the hey that we can see. But you have to trust me on that. So, and he saw, but as it's by yar elohim, it's and God saw, and we've had this before. I think on every day of creation. Et is like a the. Kol is every. Asher is that. Asa, he has created or he has made. So, and uh, God saw everything that he had created. Vehine tov ma'od. And behold, it was great. Vehine is like and here in modern Hebrew. Tov, yele tov is a good boy. Ma'od, tov ma'od. Is very good. So anything my odd is very. Vayihi erev vayihi boker, and there was evening. Erev is evening. Erev tov is good evening. So got tov here and erev. Vayihi boker, and there was morning. Boker is uh, morning in modern Hebrew. Yom hashishi, the sixth day. Now, you may have realized that unlike the other days, it has a ha before the shishi, which makes it the uh, actual object, so it's the rather than a. And there's lots of questions asked why it says ha shishi in, instead of just shishi, because we had yom hamishi, yom rivi'i, so the fifth day, the fourth, no, a fifth day, a fourth day, rather than ha shishi, the ha before. And uh, just to give one answer, although I'm very interested to hear your your answers as well, um, is that man is only really man once he is given the five books of the Torah. And hey, the numerical value of hey is five, so it's representing the five books of the Torah. But there's lots and lots of answers, and 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 it's very obvious that uh, something different is going on that makes the sixth day different because it's got a ha before it. So let's just go to one word. So yom hashishi, we've got here. So we've got a ya, a yud, which is the smallest letter of the alphabet. We've got a vav. Which can either mean a v sound, an o sound, or an u sound, depending on if there is a dot above, in the middle, or none at all. Here specifically, it's on top, so it's an o sound. So we go y o, and then a final mem, a mem sofit. This is a mem, a m sound, which is at the end of the word. So we got y o m, yom, which means day. In modern Hebrew as well, and then we got a hey sound, a huh, with an a, because it's a line underneath, so it's ha, and then we got two letters the same. It's a dot underneath, so it's an e sound. It's a shin, and we know it's a shin rather than a sin because it's got the dot on the right uh, candlestick. So we got a she, she, and then there's kind of a silent yud, but it makes the end a bit more e. So ha. She, she. So can you hear the difference between the first she and the second she? 
And the reason the second letter is pronounced differently is because it goes with the Yud at the end. So it's Yom Hashishi. And in Hebrew, we say Yom Shishi to mean Friday. And once again, it just means it's the sixth day. You've got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's the sixth day. Hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a, a massive accomplishment. We've completed 31 days together, which is a full month. But not only that, we've finished our first chapter of the Torah together, which is incredible and amazing. And uh, at some point, we'll kind of do a summary of the whole of Bereshit, chapter one, the whole of Genesis, uh, Perik Rishon. And from Yerushalayim, as usual, thank you for joining me. Please do subscribe to this channel. Please do go to HebrewBibleVersaDay.com if you haven't already and sign up for uh, updates of when new videos come out. And last of all, today is the final day. I would strongly advise that you go to Amazon and search for this book. It's called Read Hebrew in Just 90 Minutes. It's an excellent book about how to read Hebrew. And uh, it will give you an idea of not just reading Biblical Hebrew, but also reading modern Hebrew as well. And it'll set everything out for you so that you do have reference. There's also audio that goes with the book so that you can actually hear how things are pronounced as well as just read it. So your task for today is to go to Amazon and search for Read Hebrew in just 90 minutes. I'll try and put a link also in uh, the subscript, the comments below. So uh, have a look at the description below in order to find the link. So from Ben Schaffer in Yerushalayim, thank you very much for watching. It's been great. Tomorrow we'll go on to Chapter 2 of Bereshit. Shalom, Lehitraot, and goodbye. Thank you.